So a simple act of kindness can go a long way, long way and it can make a huge difference in the world. Uh, today we're talking about technology and a lot of cool ideas and some great speakers, great presentations, don't you think, huh? Yeah. These guys are awesome. But I'm not here to talk about high tech, I'm here to talk about high touch. Uh, a, a little different approach to it. I, I was great to see this, hosp uh, what was it, the uh, happiness index. To think that there's a happiness index, I think that's cool. And I think that's true, that's the outcome that we all achieve. But the action is the kindness that we give. So if I were to boil down the hospi message to one thing, it's about kindness. Uh, so you're on your way to work and a car comes out in front of you and turns this blinker on and I'm gonna challenge all of you to wave them in with all five fingers, okay? <laughs> Why not be nice? And, and the reason you do it is not just because you want to be nice, because it helps you and it makes you feel better. In his book, uh, uh, Wayne Dyer's book, The Power of Intention, he talks about kindness. And he talks about a person who receives this act of kindness has an increase uh, uh, in the production of serotonin, the stuff in the brain that makes you feel good. And, and so in the same study, in the research, he talks about the person that actually gives the kindness has the same increase of serotonin, the same stuff that makes them feel good. And the coolest thing about this whole thing is, is people who observed this act of kindness had the same uh, effect on their bodies. You all know that. You see somebody do something good for somebody, you get that chill, it makes you feel good. And we don't realize that each of us has the power to do that for other people. Now, when it comes to kindness, it's the big things, you know, that make a, a difference sometimes, and, and, and sometimes it's those little gestures, those, those small little acts of kindness. Um, uh, growing up in my life, I had something happen to me significant, and it was because somebody extended kindness my way. Um, I was 14 years old. I went to New Chinatown restaurant, Kitty Ong. She was five foot tall, 100 pounds wet. I mean, scared the hell out of me, this lady, okay? I went up to her, Tommy guy, he goes, you know, takes me in, he says, uh, uh, this guy wants a job, you know, uh, maybe you can hire him. So she looks at me, and she sizes me up and down, and I'm about 4'10 at the time, so I'm looking up to this lady. She looks at me and she looks at him. She looks back at me and just starts laughing. You know, ha, ha, ha. You know, what is he going to do? I said, he can't even lift a tray. She's telling, like, I'm not even standing there telling him this. I'm completely intimidated by this lady. I ended up working there for 10 years. Upon getting my uh, degree from a uh, local high school here, um, I told her I wanted to go to college. And by then, she was telling me, uh, she, every, she was introducing me to everybody as her son. And I was kind of proud of that. I thought that was the cool, a cool thing. Um, so I got into the school. I got a grant at the time. We didn't have lottery scholarships. I got a grant. Uh, federal government gave you money. Hispanic, it was a cool deal. Uh, first semester, all Fs. Worked my ass off for it. <laughs> Second semester, I improved. I got all Fs in one D. I was on a roll. So I got the letter, and the letter basically said, you're done with school, not your choice. So I told Kitty, I went back to talk to Kitty, and I said, hey, uh, hey, put me back on the schedule. I quit school. It's not for me. And she said, that's not possible. I'm not going to let you do that. We're going to go back when we get you back into school. So she, we get in the car, and we're driving back down to school. I mean, I grew up with seven brothers and sisters. I mean, I mean, there was nine of us in a family, five boys, two girls, one bathroom. You do the math. OK? Wasn't a lot uh, of expectation for us to all go to college. I wanted to be the first one to go to school. Looks like the dream was over. So we're in the car, we're driving down, and as we're driving down, I, uh, I was trying to tell her about what really happened, and finally came clean and said, look, I, I didn't quit school, I got kicked out of school. She didn't even look at me, she didn't even blink, she kept driving. She says, we're getting you back in. So we went down, to, I didn't even know where to go. I mean, where do you go? She didn't know where to go, she never went to college either. We spent that whole afternoon trying to get me back into school and getting help for a learning disability I didn't know I had. I could get through school, I just didn't know how to learn. But I learned a big lesson in kindness from, from Kitty that day, because she got me back into school, and it took me seven years to get my undergraduate degree. And, and I, I got it because of one person, uh, Kitty. I have two kids, one who's a senior at Baylor. I have a daughter, she's in her second year of medical school at Washington University. I don't think any of those expectations were possible for me to tell them that's possible for them uh, if it wasn't the kindness somebody gave to me. So when I talk about kindness, I only have a few minutes. Uh, uh, you know, it's the little things in life. When you smile to somebody and you say, hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. 
And, and then sometimes it's those big, big things that you do for somebody else that has effect on their life, and then they can affect the lives of others. Last night before I was getting ready for the presentation, I talked to Nancy, in the, and she's in the audience today, and she was telling me that she once learned a lesson from somebody uh, telling her, teaching her about kindness. And she told me that uh, when the opportunity presents itself to be kind, do more than you can. Do more than you think you can. And I'm here to tell you that if you do, you'll get more than you expect. Be kind, be hospy. Thanks a lot. <laughs>